Another Hindu goddess blasphemy scandal. Kali's smoking poster sparks outrage. So obviously here at the Atheist Republic, we are known for our sexy Kali blasphemy. And man, India has been roiled with the controversy surrounding this Kali blasphemy this time. So let's get into it. On July 2nd, a tweet that showed the Hindu goddess Kali smoking a cigarette and holding a pride flag sparked rage in India. Um, Lena Mani Mikalai, I know I didn't pronounce that right, I apologize, an Indian-born Toronto-based director had tweeted a picture of her film poster for her quote-unquote performance documentary that was meant to be debuted at the Aga Khan Museum. The tweet resulted in hashtag arrest Lena uh, Mani Mankalai tr trending on Twitter in India. Lena was subsequently trolled by tens of thousands of Hindu extremists facing thousands of graphic threats and members of her crew were doxxed. Lena explained to the BBC that her film depicts the goddess Kali as a champion of humanity and di embraces diversity. Even the, high com even the High Commission of India at Ottawa issued a condemnation and stated, quote, we urge the Canadian authorities and the event organizers to withdraw such provocative material. Both the Aga Khan Museum and the Toronto M Metropolitan University, through which Lena was pursuing a fellowship, issued statements apologizing for the offense and revoked the film screenings. Speaking to the BBC, oh wait, no, I, whoops, I already said that. She's saying, as a poet and a filmmaker, I embody Kali in my own independent vision. What are the chances that she was inspired by R. Kelly? Because R. <laughs> Sexy Kelly, R. Sexy Kelly also has a rainbow flag. By the way, can you show it one more time? Because this segment is going to be cut and people are not going to know that you already showed it once. Can you just show it the shirt one more time? Yeah. See, this is R. Sexy Kelly. And if you look, look show them. Where the rainbow flag is on our sexy Kelly. Like, this is Kelly. This is Kelly and Sita making out with each other. That the is the rainbow LGBT flag. Pride flag. Okay, so it's 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 easy to see why she, that's Kelly, but can you also tell people how how we can tell that that's Sita on the other side? So oh, because she has a little golden deer jewelry. Yes. Yeah. There we go. Good. Anyways, uh. um. So I wanted to talk about this news so badly. I first discovered this tweet when I was actually preparing for the news last week. And I saw the outrage brewing over this. And I was like, I sent it to Armin right away. I was like, whoa, Armin, look, I, I, sense, I sense a Kali backlash. And even I did not expect it to get this big over the, like, the week that followed. It was crazy. So this... Okay, I don't even know where to start. First of all, apparently what is so offensive about this is the fact that she's smoking a cigarette. Now, this doesn't make any sense to me. This is a cultural thing. I literally do not understand why smoking the cigarette is offensive. I literally don't understand it. Especially I get it, I get it though. Especially considering that Kali is like the Super Saiyan version of the feminine aspect of Siva. And Siva is constantly smoking weed. <laughs> like, so this doesn't make sense to me. I'm like, the feminine aspect of Siva can't smoke. She can't smoke, but he can smoke. And he's always like smoking ganja. Like, so. But I, it makes sense. Weed is, weed is not as bad for you as they're just, this is just a public health message. Okay. These Hindus. <laughs> are concerned about people's health they're offended because like okay weed is not as bad this is like really bad for your health they're like why are you advertising this message uh, that smoking is okay obviously it's not okay they're just they're just concerned about your health that's why they're offended so <laughs> this this is so crazy to me i don't even know where to begin so first of all like she's um, refused to apologize. And I really appreciate that she's standing firm because like, it actually made me appreciate how we handled it, Armin, because the fact that 
the Aga Khan Museum and her own university like turned their back on her and disowned her was so made like pissed me off so much it made me so angry part of the outrage actually was the fact that it was being shown at the Aga Khan Museum because obviously okay maybe not obvious to everyone but Aga Khan is Ismaili an Ismaili Shia Muslim sect and organization so they're saying look this Muslim organization this Muslim sect, they, they're promoting the blasphemy and the disrespect in this depiction of our goddess. Oh my god, this validates everything I've ever been told. Like, <laughs> yes, yeah, true. The All your nightmares are true. All the people who are attacking Hinduism, they're funded and supported by Islamists or are Islamists. This confirms it. Yeah. Um, but the, all, at this point, at this point, you can't do anything about it. So this is a, that's why we're going mask off. Okay, none of your guards are safe. By the way, why is it just Kelly that everybody is like, like when me do blasphemy, blasphemous heart about all Hindu goddesses? People don't get as butt hurt as when you go for Kelly. And Kelly is not even a major goddess. Like we have more important goddesses than Kelly, but Kelly is the mm -hmm. one that people have this emotional attachment to i don't do you does anybody and know it's, what it's pretty kind of strange because like kali is more of like a bengali goddess in many ways but it's oftentimes like these northern india hindutva extremists who are going so hard to defend her honor which is ridiculous to me you think kali pure shakti needs anyone to defend her honor like of course not and it's yeah among all the goddesses among all the goddesses she's the last one that needs her defense right like this is like she's gonna eat you for breakfast okay before literally like, even the people... <laughs> <laughs> literally, yeah. like yeah, actually go... okay so here's part of the contention is that this filmmaker she's from the south i believe she's from tamil nadu and she was like, I, this is the Kali that I grew up with. I grew up with a tribal Kali. The Kali that I grew up with, she eats meat. She drinks goat's blood. She dances crazily. She dance, she's uncontrollable. She smokes cigarettes. This is who I grew up with, seen, observed, and portrayed in all of my, you know, village's rituals and stuff. So, it's also a contention of who gets to dictate what is Hindu worship now. And we are seeing a concerted effort to build a monolithic Hindu belief system, which is completely antithetical to anything Hindu and is in many ways actually replicating what like the colonists are trying to do to Hinduism because the, the idea of trying to think of Hinduism as a religion itself is like a Western construct being forced on to this very diffuse thing that we just have, we now call Hinduism or Indic faith. And so <laughs> then what happened was there was a politician. Um, she's in the Congress party. Party. I believe uh, she's Yaya in got, Moitra. Yeah, you got chop, chopped a little bit. She's in the Congress party. Go ahead. Yeah, so she's in the Congress party, I believe, representing uh, part of West Bengal. And um, her name is Mahua Moistra. And basically, she was on a TV show show and someone asked her about this and she basically said like there's nothing wrong with this portrayal of Kali like the where I grew up my Kali like eats meat she drinks alcohol like she smokes like she drinks goat's blood and then because this Hin <laughs> this Hindu politician expressed she was simply expressing her own practice of worshiping and her rituals surrounding the worship of Kali. Then people started filing FIRs against her in multiple states because they couldn't tolerate the fact that they referenced her as is drinking alcohol and eating meat, which is, you know, so taboo, but in eating fish, everyone, okay, maybe not everyone, um, it's well known that especially in Bengali practice, like these things are typical. It's it, the fish eating in particular is very typical, but the, the inclusion of meat is also very regionally normal. And the inclusion of alcohol is also very normal across different regions of India. And the fact that 
then people are filing police reports against her for simply expressing what she does in her own ritual practice is absurd to me. Not only this, but then the Congress party from her region then distanced themselves from her, basically saying she said that in her own personal capacity, which is insulting to their own constituents because the, the constituents are like, we support your party, but this is literally what we do here. <laughs> like, there's nothing wrong in what she said. What is the implication by you suddenly saying we're distancing to her, ourselves from her? Oh my God, blah, blah, blah. Like, the only person who supported this MP or whatever her role is um, was uh, Sashish. I can't. Uh, Sashish Thaur. I'm sorry, I can't pronounce his name right. In my, I, I which if, if anyone, he's like one of the most important M Congress MPs in the country. Like as an outsider, when I think the Congress Party, I think Sahish Thaur, and so he was the only person that came out to like moderately support her in the most bland of ways. And then they, then they came out and said that what he said was also said in his own personal capacity. I'm like, this is insane. This is insane. Who gets to dictate these things? It's a person talking about their own ritual practice of a goddess who is, these tribal practices surrounding this particular goddess are extremely well known. At least to me, like they're seen as something that's blasphemous and worthy to file a police report over because she's deliberately offending religious sentiments. Like we have reached, like it spiraled to such a level of like I don't even know. It's 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 so absurd, Armin. It is so absurd. Can we have her on the show? Can we can we invite her, Lena? The person okay, who... maybe we can. But I saw on her Twitter that she said that when she is able to, she is going to give away signed posters, signed posters from this movie. And oh. I am, I swear to God, I am going to get one of these signed posters of the Kali performance documentary, okay? okay I was, we'll guys, we need to make it happen. One day, you are going to see a framed Kali poster with Kali smoking in the background. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, but can we get her on the show as well? Maybe that will help you get the poster if we get her on the show. True. I also want to actually watch her documentary because um, mm. I read in the like I cannot speak like I read a piece in the wire India today and it is legitimately one of the best pieces of writing I have read in a really long time. And it's called when Kali descends guys go look it up. And it talks about in detail, the tribal history of Kali, the pulling up sources about how it, it references, how to observe her correctly. You need to bring her alcohol. The, the, the things involved in the celebration of her, of her and in her pujas involve sex. Like it's, it's very explicit. And so they're saying the people who are making these claims. Like they haven't even read these texts. They haven't read the poems of hundreds of years of venerating this goddess because how you memorialize her is really well observed. And it, it ties that into this film. And so in this poster, when you see her smoking a cigarette, it is a performance artist who basically becomes um, possessed by Kali walking through the streets of Toronto. And it's th it's her experience of the diverse fabric of the culture of Toronto. She goes looking for the First Nations people to return their land to them and then comes to this conclusion that it no one can own the land because the universe is immaterial and ever-changing. And she shares this cigarette with this Black homeless guy living on the street. And it's supposed to be this... It's 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 both a reference to how Kali That's worked a bad her, idea. There's a pandemic then, going on, people. <laughs> that is a bad idea. But it, it's supposed to be a reference to how Kali worshippers will give her these items, including alcohol, including cigarettes. And then once, you know, she has consumed them, then the worshippers can then consume what they gave her gave to her as sacrifice. So in a way, they're sharing in these they're sharing these items. They're they're sharing these rituals or these vices with the goddess herself. So it's like a reference to that relationship of the devotee going to the goddess and then sharing, you know, this this act with her. And then, but it's also talking about 
how the goddess can come and share space with anyone of any social strata in any country across the world you know and so it's supposed to be the the documentarian talking about how this to her is compassion and it's it's uncontainable it's the social constraints cannot dictate it you know and so oh my god there's so much stuff I still can, want to touch on. Can we, so, can we read some of the responses on Twitter to her? Yeah, one second. Well, Twitter has withheld the original tweet. So if you ah. try to go find this tweet in India, you can't find it anymore. Because the Indian government has mandated that Twitter blocks this tweet. Wait, how come she gets to keep her Twitter for blasphemy and we lose our Twitter accounts for the same kind of <laughs> blasphemy? This is devil. Is there because yeah, she point. had a check mark yeah, and we point. didn't? Is that what this is a double standard? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. But look, this person is like, shame on you. Like, and it's also this one. This was a response. Read this one. Every Why day the Hindu religion is mocked. Is government testing our patient patients? Dear Ahmed Shah, and then um, Modi and then Dr. Whatever, whatever, all these people he tagged. Please don't forget how we were questioning for hurting religious sentiments and needful action must be taken. Oh my God. Cry me a fuck river. Like, I, I almost swore. Why are these people so, such babies? Why are you such babies? Like, the whole guys, they're. There's Hindu Fasangis are the most there fragile people, people I have ever met. People it's are crazy. dying. People are being killed. There are like human rights violations that are happening across the globe. I mean, like, uh, the unemployment in emotions. India is horrible hey, wait, right now, but we're going to talk about this. Okay. People are being lynched. Like there's like bigger issues. Why do you think your fifis are so important? I don't understand. How did people like, even, like guys, you yourself have bigger issues to worry about. How is this your priority? How, why do you think a government is responsible to protect your feelings? I don't understand the sense of entitlement these people are like, hey, people are somewhere saying something or doing something that I don't like to see. Here's an idea, don't look at it. Why do you think that the government needs to use resources for ta from taxpayer money to come and protect your sensitive little eyes over, against these things like people uh, like do you really think that they, these are what what we should be spending government resources on like do you feel so entitled you think you think so highly of your own emotions that you think other people's money should be spent okay people that people worked hard and gave taxes and that should be spent by the government to come protect your feelings the the amount of like the the level of sensitivity and, and entitlement the is the together it combined and this is no other group of people other than religious people have this level of sensitivity and entitlement combined like i've never seen it's religion have you seen it anywhere else have you seen it anywhere else no it's unbelievable it like and it, and the the, the 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 weird thing about it is that it comes from people that don't have their other needs needs met you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, it's not coming from like these like rich affluent people that are like, oh my, like they have like, I don't know, multiple houses and multiple cars and they are rich, they travel all the time. And so like, obviously they're sensitive people. Look at them because everything, like you don't have toilets, okay? Your country doesn't have enough toilets, okay? You're not like, you're not rich, okay? You're not have everything else figured out. And this is what you think the government should be spending on its time on? Anyways. Your streets are filled with shit. Okay, figure that okay. out. Okay, Armin. Filled... Okay. We can't we can't throw stones in glass houses because I live in San Francisco and the streets here are covered in shit. So I can't well, make that criticism. I can't because <laughs> your streets. Well, your streets are also filled with shit. Okay. Yeah, I, it's that horrible my, here. <laughs> my streets are not filled with shit. Okay, so I'm not throwing stones in glass houses because I don't live in a glass house. You live in a glass house. <laughs> yeah, I can't make that criticism. We can't yeah. talk. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> anyways, so this. Look at this. Oxymoron is like we got toilets now, Armin, much better than the U.S. 
I'm okay, then the focus US. on the unemployment in the country, I'm then. At, <laughs> tell that to Susie, okay? My country is better than yours, okay? Maybe Susie maybe can't say anything, but I can. So, yeah, suck on that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was literally stepping over shit today. Like, I can't say anything. Um, <laughs> so. True. Okay, wait, back to the story. So I was reading a bunch of interviews with um, the director and this has reached huge like levels of coverage. Like it was covered in the guardian. It was covered in BBC voice of America, CNN. Like I was, you know, it's one thing for the big name meet Indian media to cover it, but it's, I feel like a different thing of like how big it's gotten when completely foreign big name media companies start to cover it as well. Um, and there have been calls to try to get her extradited to India. Like, it's absolutely crazy. And she was saying that you can see the BJP influence in this incident because the High Commission of India at Ottawa issued an official condemnation. That's like if here there was like a Portuguese artist and he happened to do something that was very controversial to amongst the culture in Portugal. And then... And there was some random local, you know, theater that was going to show his movie. And then the Portuguese consulate comes out and issues a condemnation towards what they're doing in San Francisco. It's like, what the hell? Like, it's it's just so far beyond their reach. I think they were just really trying to exert their muscle. Um not only this, so people, Armin, how many, I, I, you're familiar with uh, something. Are you familiar with someone telling you, at least no one will behead you, okay? You only def defame Kali because no one will behead you. You remember that? Yes, yes, yes. There was a priest in Uttar Pradesh who got arrested for threatening to behead her. Behead her? Actually, no, that priest didn't get arrested, but there was a very well document, ca documented case of a Hindu priest threatening her with beheading. And then there was a right wing women, like a Hindutva women's group leader who was arrested for her for threatening her with death in oh Tamil Nadu. Okay. So there are there okay. are arrests already being made in India behind what they're doing to her. Um, okay, but, and, but however, technically that is true. I do it, tend to insult um, religions when I feel that it's not going to lead to my beheading. Okay, whether if I do think like I'm going to be beheaded, you know, I tend to just stay quiet. Okay, but I, I do like my head on my shoulder. So I that is a fair point. But yeah, go on. Um, no, but you even when no, but like, what is that challenge? You like, all the time only saying that you're all I know, yeah, what, yeah, I did, I insult Islam, but I don't think anybody's going to reach me to behead me. Okay, that's what, like, I don't understand that criticism. Like, you're only saying that because nobody's going to behead you. Like, yeah, if I, like, what is that? What are you? What is your point? Yeah, if I ever thought like somebody's going to behead me because of what I'm saying, I would not say that thing. Like, <laughs> wow, <laughs> is that a revelation to you? Like, what? Your standard is that I have to attack an, an idea, even if I think it's going to lead to my beheading. Well, I mean, like, what is the standard? Well, of no, they're calling you a coward, basically. But that doesn't yeah, if, work. Okay, if coward, if coward means you will shut up if somebody is likely to behead you, because I don't think like the people who are threatening me with beheading, I just don't think it's going to happen. Okay, mm -hmm. but I really, if I did think it's going to happen. Then yeah, that would work. That would work on me. I will not. <laughs> I will not say the things. Like, does that make you a coward? I mean, if I, I want to stay alive, is that if that's cowardly? Hey, coward. I ident identify accurately. I'm a coward. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think what they're trying to say is when people say that to you, they're implying, oh, well, you would never say anything about Islam because just automatically someone's gonna be hedgy, blah blah blah. And I'm like, automatically. But you're. Sure. But I'm like, Armin has so said more against Islam than you ever have. So that like criticism doesn't work like but you're saying if i was like living in iraq like i wouldn't say such a stuff because the threats are way higher um yeah i don't think they behead you in iraq i don't know what the no i, I meant like around isis time yes okay, okay okay or saudi arabia they behead you there yeah 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 yeah. Um, um, by the way, did wait, they I like I remember this has me. given me some flashbacks when we did our blasphemy against Kelly. The funniest part was when they were like tagging um Trudeau and Rohani, like <laughs> Donald Prime Trump, Minister, <laughs> Kat, 
no, 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 no. They know that I'm Canadian Iranian, so they wanted to like they were complaining to the president of Iran and the prime minister of Canada, like you're like, hey, Rouhani and Trudeau, do something about this man. Help! <laughs> like, <laughs> it's so funny that they're tagging Rouhani. Oh my god, that was the best. <laughs> Like, come pick up your guy. Like, what, are you, what is he doing? Look at him. Like, this is your citizen. Do something. Help us out here. <laughs> Rohani, your boy is wilding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I miss those days. Those were the best. Um, so I have to show God. you something crazy. Wait just a second. Okay. okay. So, Armin, do you remember how we had a, many legal complaints filed against us for our... Kali blas blasphemy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Well, know, you exactly will never who. guess who was one of the people who filed a police report against Lena, the director. This, the same person, the same people. Yes, guys, you guessed it. It's our oh favorite Indian God. advocate. It's Vineet Jindal. <laughs> <laughs> He's on it, guys. He's on it. He's like, he doesn't miss an opportunity. To when I Kelly. was reading an article and I saw this, I screamed, you guys. I'm like, Vinit, he's doing it again. He came after <laughs> us and now he's going after her. This is amazing. This is, this is crazy. This man needs a job. Oh, my oh. God. I think this guy is horny for Kelly. I really do think so. I think That's he just only has reasonable conclusion. The only reasonable point. explanation. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Secular rarity. <laughs> Shocked. Shocked, I tell you. <laughs> but okay. No, I actually was shocked because I'm like, okay, of course a bunch of people are gonna file complete police complaints against her. But when I saw that it was the same lawyer, <laughs> I was like, you Oh, yeah, uh, Susie's getting cut. Susie, you have this art uh, ready for me to show. Hey, guys, is Susie cut for me? Uh, you guys as well? I gotta be kidding. Susie, oh, you, got, you got cut. You're back. You're back. All right. So we have this art that you wanted me to show. What is this? Yes. About? Okay. So this is something I read about today where well, you can bring it up. And so there's all this outrage over Kali smoking, right? It's so offensive that she's Kali smoking. This is a photograph of the advertisement for Kali cigarettes. Oh my God, really? Back when? This is like from um, the end of the 1800s, early 1900s, I believe. Mm. This image can be found in the British Museum. It can be found in the Victorian Museum of Kolkata. And across, this is actually like a lot of people use this image in their worship in their shrines this is wait they use an ad? cigarettes that advertises People... okay guys this is not true obviously but it advertises that smoking their cigarettes like brings you closer to kali people use an a, a picture of a cigarette ad as a way to worship kali mm -hmm. okay okay amazing yeah. And so why all, is she it, not holding a cigarette pack or anything? How is this uh, like they, they, they didn't do that? They didn't no, this put, is like, like the image on it or an advertisement mm -hmm. for it. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And you think cigarettes bring you closer to Cali? Yeah, I would so assume, it just mm -hmm. goes to show how these people who are so outraged over her smoking, like blurring it out, like it's the most obscene thing you've ever seen, is so ahistoric. Like this is over a hundred years old. Mm. Look, Kali look, cigarettes. Uh, Look, she, these are demons' head that she always has around her as a necklace. Mm -hmm, and she, mm -hmm. you see their intestines and their hands. Or as She has the hands as her belt. Okay? But what she doesn't have, she's supposed to have a cup holding underneath the blood of the, you know, the heads that are bleeding. Right? Mm -hmm. She's supposed to keep holding, there's a cup that she's holding so that the blood doesn't touch the ground. Because every time the blood touches the ground, there will be more demons spawning out because, you know, so that's why she makes sure that she, she always makes sure that it doesn't hit the ground. Also, that's her husband, right? That's Shiva. That's Shiva, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the idea is that Kelly is like so like out of control that the only way to calm her down is for her husband, Shiva, to just lie on the ground and let Kelly step on him. Okay. 
Mm-hmm. I honestly think this is an excuse. I think Shiva just likes Kelly stepping on her, on him. Yeah. Right. And he was like, people are like, Shiva, what are you doing? And like, she was like, uh, uh, uh this calms her down. And like, oh, really? I'm like, yeah, this calms her down. I'm like, like, because I think. People- Please ignore the <laughs> fact that I'm also getting excited. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think like Shiva is supposed to be a dumb, but. I think he seems to be a, du- a sub, okay? But I think it doesn't match her match his image because people are like Shiva, the destroyer god. Obviously, he's a dom, okay? But I think he's a sub, and he just really likes Kali stepping on him, and he just doesn't want to tell people that because of, you know, it doesn't match the identity, the image people have mm-hmm, of him. Mm-hmm, so he mm-hmm. just has an excuse that I'm doing this to calm her. This is the only way to. Uh, yeah, I think so. I think that's the explanation. Does that make sense? <laughs> I think that makes sense. Um, so I yeah. wait. Can you show we, the video that I also included, though? Yeah. This was hilarious to me. So this is a clip I saw on Instagram when I was doing research, and it's from India Today. And this woman who is so upset about Kali has oh my god the worst reasoning I have ever heard about her okay guys listen to her reasons about why this is insulting i was like this lady is okay okay do you have idea what do you think you know is do you have idea yes yes okay good deepa what do you think you know is this is this an issue of intolerance is this an issue of hypocrisy do you agree with what kasturi and ajay gautam have said that you know, as far as Hindu goddesses are concerned. Oh my God, they were blurring the smoking part. Did you see that? Yeah, blurring... it's ridiculous. Oh my God. they like, this is an Islamic mindset. You guys are copying Muslims when they blur the parts in the, that they don't like. And they tell us that we have an Abrahamic mindset. Abrahamic mindset detected right here. You guys do, are exact, doing exactly what the Muslims do. Look, they're identifying the LGBT flag. They didn't blur out the LGBT flag, but they blurred out the smoking. The smoking was the offensive part. Amazing. Wow. Why are they so offended by smoking? I mean, I get it, though. Actually, never mind. I endorse this. I endorse this. Okay, we're going. You know, as far as Hindu goddesses are concerned, it's a free pass. You know, there's no fear of any real backlash. There might be a little bit of anger. Look at this. She's trying to contain herself. She's having a Kelly moment right here herself. She's (laughs) like, wow, let me go at them. Stop speaking, anchor, so I could like, look at her. She can (laughs) Social media, Shiva Roor might do a couple of shows on it, but that's about the maximum that you will face. And you'll get publicity in the bargain. Deepa. I think uh, uh, this lady, I don't even want to take her name because I think that's what she wants. She wants all oh. the, her name. She wants yep. all the publicity out there. So I'm not going to take her name. But this particular woman is very happy right now because we're all discussing her movie, which I, I'm not sure who's going to watch it now. But then if she's, she's very happy about it. Now, say- More people are going to watch it. Secondly, yeah. nothing, let me repeat, nothing about this poster that you see here is creative. On the contrary, it lacks everything that it should have it's not creative it's not sensitive she has absolute no values and it's wrong at so many levels first oh. she is a hindu herself it's wrong at that level secondly she is a she belongs to the tamil community and tamilians are always known for their devotion they're always known to be <laughs> more very clean hearted and with clean devotion it's wrong at that level thirdly and most importantly she's a woman it's absolutely wrong to consider <laughs> the mother of all goddesses that we consider as kali in this particular situation and right now i would like to challenge her i dare no. her I dare this woman to go ahead and do something like this with our the, the brother, brothers and sisters of other communities. If it happens to them, I would be as hot as I am today. But I dare you, lady, go ahead and do this with somebody else and see what happens. Shame on you for doing this. And this is absolutely not creativity. This deserves rotten tomatoes and nothing else. I, as a Hindu, am so outraged so irritated today that somebody from my community, a fellow woman, has come out with such a shameful poster for a movie and she calls it creativity. 
this is absolutely baseless and it cannot be said that you know hindu is always a way of life rather than a religion we call it a way of life we are always so inclusive but this makes us completely intolerant and if you are not intolerant today then i don't know when we are going to be intolerant it's enough oh. of this tolerance from hindus i think it, this should not be tolerated from any religions so if you feel that we are too tolerant i think this is a time to wake up and be intolerant because we are not going to encourage this and if we are you know we always say boycott the film ban the film but it hardly happens i want this film of everything else to be actually boycotted let's not spend a penny on this movie let's not give her anything out of this but just shame and humiliation and that's the way we should take her and there i vow that in today's discussion i'm not going to take this lady's name she doesn't deserve to be spoken about on a national debate deepa Okay. So let's there's so much to talk about there. Okay, but her let's just break down her reasons. Her reasons why this is bad. Reason 1, she's a Hindu. Okay, so her group identity. Reason 2, she's a Tamil. So it's wrong. Okay, so it's wrong because of her ethnicity. <laughs> Reason 3, she's a woman. <laughs> so it's wrong because of her gender. So in every single case it is wrong simply because of the group that she belongs to like it's the stupidest thing i've ever heard i am uh, i am speechless this is like so too much stupid. insanity but read the comments it was saying, so many do you saying i want to shake these people and scream this is all pretend <laughs> stop it <laughs> and boopo was saying oh, she doesn't satisfy my stereotypes so i'm outraged sure 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 but people is so funny like this is hurting our religious sentiments look at these are the actual comments this mm -hmm. is the actual comments like look at this one this comment this is too much now honestly they have crossed all the all their their limits now okay this is not good grammar oh like look at these babies look at these little babies where is the supreme court they can't see this question mark angry face angry face angry face it happened um, in a foreign nation halfway across the world how what are they going to do court? about it <laughs> people are like arrest her <laughs> these are the best oh my god why is like okay i have one of my guilty pleasures in life is watching religious uh, people get butt hurt. I know this is not like a good thing to enjoy, but I can't help it. I don't know why it's so funny. Why is it so funny when religious people think that their hurt feelings is the most important thing in the world? Like and then it should upend my life stuff. and how I choose to live it. Yeah, because they it, yeah, it's insane like no one else is this entitled. Um if you guys would like to join in the celebration of Kali as something that cannot be contained cannot be you know corralled within our social expectations because this is the true nature of pure shakti then you guys should check out our kali shirts that we sell at atheist republic like this kali and sita gay gay love shirt that i have here link in the description by the way our blasphemous art is like very sexy so if you think that 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 blasphemy is like bad me. like you should you should check out our blasphemy okay and again all our blasphemy the the clothed version of it right is available for free to our our newsletter subscribers so if you want to get that subscribe to our newsletter it's free you get all our art for free every week um and also by the way we meet her challenge because she was like i dare you i dare you to do this thing with other religions guess what we covered every religion including <laughs> we have we have done art on cali Hinduism, Islam, Buddhism, um, Judaism, the Sikh community. The Sikh community. We recently made um, the Sikhs extremely angry, but we have covered <laughs> every religion, even dead religions. Okay, even religions that you know, Filipino religions or like Indonesian religions, like religions that people in that the same countries don't even knew that this was their this was a religion here. African, you know, old African religions. So we have covered. We are covering every single blas, you know, all blasphemous art that we could possibly. Yeah. So, so when she's like, because these people are like, ah, we're so victimized. People are going for Hinduism, but they wouldn't dare do this with other religions. We do, okay? We cover everything. So, if you want to see again, they're glorious and they're free. Uh, link in the description. The only ones that are not free is the same. Every time we get an art, 
on your newsletter, okay, you, you, there's a nude version of the same art that is only available to our patrons, okay? So, anyways, you want Which to actually something? reminds me that in honor of this story, we are making our own art of Kali smoking, and it's going to be so badass. <laughs> like, I'm really excited. So stay when is tuned it coming out? for our sexy Kali smoking art. When is it coming out? Soon, like within okay. the next few days. Can we cover it in our new segment? Because it's about a news item. So we could cover it on new segment. Sure. Can we show the safe for work version of it on live on air on our next? Yeah, why not? Yeah, okay, cool. All right. That's uh, that's exciting. What is can you describe what's happening in it or do you not wanna describe it? I mean, Kali just looks like a freaking badass biker girl. <laughs> Like biker smoke, girl, wow! Yeah, like smoking a cig, just like looking okay. like pure. Can we excellent. can we mention in the description that smoking is not a good good for you because I don't want to like promote smoking and like sure, <laughs> <Okay>. sure. <laughs> Susie's like sure. <laughs> no, I, right, I know right. it means a lot to Norman, so yes, we will. Okay. Okay, cool. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.